Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. George Mala. I, I am actually watching the Mala. Been on it all day. Joshua. Did I say who we're gonna cause? Who? <laughs> it was Coach Johnny Python. What's up, brother? Man? What's up, my brother? I'm watching Robert Mala testify. Boy, is he past his fucking prime. He's got dust in his balls. No loads out of his fucking prick tonight. His wife was gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a low job, honey, to make you feel better after testifying in front of those mean, congressional people all day. I'm gonna eat your cum if you can fucking shoot a load! Who's the scumbag in here? Yes, it's, a, it's some guy, I believe he's from England, by his, uh, his accent. Um, which has no bearing on it. He could be from fucking, you know, the house next door to me. He'd still be a douche. Desktop bodybuilding is the name of his YouTube channel. Yes, a, uh, really fucking, uh, douchey move. We'll get into that in a little bit. We get into that, but welcome everybody, of course. LegalSteroids.com, Mikey Crazy Hawk's favorite fucking show. Presents Gear and Up. Legal steroids, use that uh, 30% uh, discount. Muscle Video 30. Oh, are you a racist because he's from England? Yes! <laughs> Olympia likes white beaters. Oh, we'll talk about Jeremy Bondia, too. Love the Bensonhurst gym pic the other day. Oh, on Facebook, yeah. That was in a, uh, a local newspaper. And that female bodybuilder, Crystal Baby, how are you? Eric, what's up? Halffield and the McCoys. That girl, is, she's actually a friend of mine on my uh, uh, Instagram now. She lives in Manhattan now. She was a, kind of a legend in, the, in Brooklyn for bodybuilding. And she was, still is very sexy. I wanted to eat her butthole back then. And I still do. Joe, my man, how's it hanging? To the right, as always. I wear it to the right. And there he is, Brandon. Brandon asked me nicely in a DM if he could come on the show because he wants to show us a new dance. I took it upon myself to tell him it would be okay. I think under the circumstances, we all could use a dance. Well, Rod, it's a dance now. You have to remember, he's not just talking about the Green New Deal. ABF, what's up, my friend? Heisman died from brain injuries from the fight. Who? Who? No, <laughs> no, no, I will not let it go 30 minutes. Uh, Brandon will have a minimum of, I'm uh, uh, going to give him four minutes. Four less than what people have on uh, uh, the don't be blocks. So you have to unblock people. All right, Brandon. All right, guys. The, the, the thing the, the, is, you have to unblock no, the, people or else they get the, kicked off when you come on live. So make this fast because I don't want to lose okay. half my audience. It's not fair to them. All right. There's a dance I made a, like last year. It's on recording. I want to show you okay. guys. Okay, just do the okay. dance. You don't have to explain when you invented it. It's good enough just to do it. We'll figure out the rest. Oh, it's a video of it. I thought you were actually going to be doing the dance uh, live for us. I feel like I'm in, uh, what's his name's room? Fucking Mr. Johnson's. All right, this isn't exactly what I had in mind when you asked me if he can come on to do a dance for us. I didn't think you were going to be showing me an old video that keeps freezing that you're not even uh, focused on. You're in the right-hand corner, not on yourself. All right, Brandon, if this was the gong show, I'm playing fucking uh, Chuck Barris. I'm getting... I'm, I'm going, no, no, I'm waiting for the gong from one of the, uh, like, Brett Summers... All right, Brandon, that definitely fell short. I have to admit, I'm, I'm, I'm a little on the disappointed side. No, the dance could, the dance is longer. I thought you were going to do a dance for us. I didn't think you were going to show me a video, which you didn't even show. You kind of were showing the corner of the deck, the, 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 the laptop or whatever. 
But that's all right. No all problem. Right. Next time, you can do gonna... it live for us. Um, and also, um, guys, oh, guess what? I found this new all right, app. But that's you... not the deal. Our deal was you were going to show me a dance, not come on and, and, and get all my listeners kicked off because you blocked them and then start talking about and whatever you want to talk about. That's what your live shows are, oh, not mine. Everyone. Okay? So I, 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 I was nice. I gave into the dance and it really didn't come off as good as it's supposed to. Yo, I don't want to dance for you Okay. Guys. Have a good day, I... Brandon. See you later. Oh, no, no, wait. Can I say something? I made a deal with the kid. He asked me if he can come on the show and show us a new dance. I didn't know he was going to show us an old... Uh, YouTube clip, which he, he was like, here, I'm talking to you guys now. Here, go, hey, guys, how do you like my live show? Good? Here's my dance. Can you see it? Here's my dance. This is what I saw, Brandon. I will dance for you naked. Well, Ray, please, I would, I would be uh, uh, willing to masturbate in public. Joe just did a dance on his grave. You killed. No, I listen. I made a deal and I stuck to it. I can't have fucking half of my audience get kicked off. You never asked me to dance. I'm crushed. You can dance at the Olympia. You can dance uh, while we're playing Spin the Titan Medical Center. Bottom. No, mas, Jose. What's up, man? man. A N O M A S. No, the soup is gone. I I love the soup. But I made a deal. I got to stick to it. I got I to gotta be a man of my word or else I'll be like, that's top bodybuilding on YouTube. <laughs> no integrity. And he likes Ron Harris. <laughs> I can't even feel sorry for the guy. He makes his own fucking thing. <laughs> I still need to smell you. <laughs> well, the Olympia will be a long, drunken weekend. Is the, yes, you, why do you despise him, Hoover the Claws? Now, uh, I started following that other dude, Mike. What was that guy's name that was on the show last week, uh, two, two days ago at the end? The guy with the nice hair, <laughs> the blonde, wispy hair. <laughs> I want him on again. <laughs> you can let people do it. I know. That's the whole thing. I, I kind of did it uh, because I made the promise. But uh, I have to, uh, you know, I, I got I, I to gotta watch out for the rest of the family. Steve Blackman Hamburg, that is the uh, owner of Muscular Development Magazine, the man who fired me September 12th, 2014, did me the biggest favor. He basically sucked my dick without even knowing it. <laughs> it was as good as a blowjob because I get kicked. I need my MSM fix. I know who could the claws. I need you to go for it, Homas. No, Mama, two condoms are walking down the street. When they walk by a gay bar, one condom says to the other, hey, man, you want to get shit? Ah! <laughs> I don't get it. Are you trying to say that uh, homosexuals do anal sex? Because I don't even know what anal sex is, even in a joke form. I'm so away from it. I hear Palumbo talks about it. Uh, we all do. Everybody in the industry besides people that are still on his payroll because they don't want to get fired. Hamburgers have never used to have a beer and walk around smashing people with a kendo stick. <laughs> oh, that was the, uh, yeah, the, the karate guy. <laughs> I really don't understand restaurants ask me to leave when I want. <laughs> oh, my. That's what that was. <laughs> yeah, Steve Blackman, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. He wasn't a bad guy. I, I think he had, uh, he, he's a nice personality for the most part. Uh, he was kind of dorky. He tried to be one of the boys when, you know, he was really kind of dorky. Um, but I, I, I mean, I butted heads with him. I deserved to get fired. I never, I always said the fuck it kept me on too long. Jerry Babrina, I have no idea, but apparently it was in like the Philippines or something. So it's not like you're going to see any, um, you know, like Sean Roden pleaded not guilty in Utah court. You're not going to see that. If he goes to the Philippines, that, uh, what's that guy, Huertas or whatever, he might chop his fucking dick off. Crystal and Kim are in the house. I want to see them in the house at the Olymp. 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 Oh, Ray, I didn't hear back from you the next, Duarte. Yes, thank you. I'm hoping it's a thumb up on what we were talking about, but I will not. I will not talk about it on public. That's a private conversation. 
Abercrombie and bitch. And then Mark Lobliner was like, oh, is it racist? Because, well, Buendia is not a white guy. It's only racist if you're a white. If people of color, the left have, has made people of color include everything but a white boy so a white girl. So if you're a fucking Vietnamese, you're a person of color. I'm okay, ABF, thank you, getting better. Crystal, uh, Crystal and Kim have gone through all these illnesses and stuff. You guys better be better about the Olympia Ruts. I'm getting mad at you. <laughs> I keep hearing still back when I buy a nice steak dinner if you're a bodybuilder. Steve Fluckman took, the, he did take care of us. He bought us, uh, we had nice Christmas parties and we got steaks and stuff. Well, not just Christmas, he took us out to dinner. Like I said, he was not a bad guy. I, can't, I have to be fair with as do. It's okay, Joe, we get that tiny little slant on <laughs> I love that. I love that he lets people go shoot fucking drug dealers in the street. Low blinder has an opponent that had com bombs. <laughs> he can buy. No, Mark's a good guy, Buck. I actually know Mark. I like Mark. I just, I, I, I wasn't sure that video he did. Like, oh, why don't they ban Jeremy Buendia? Um, what is he like? Some kind of fucking South American mix or some shit? Wendy is not exactly fucking Pete's Arrow. Well, Kephas for that matter. What's up, Kephas? Me and Kephas were at the fucking New York Metropolitan's game last night. Blackman give you a glute massage? No. If he did, I would have stayed on even after being fired. I would have worked for free. Um, uh, yeah, people always say, do you think he's gay? And I'm going to say no. I'm going to go on the record and say no. I think he appreciated a bodybuilder's body, but not in a sexual manner. The mama son. Now, yes, we had these two fucking rub and tug broads next to us at the Mecca thing last night. See, Black becomes cool, one of the boys, kind of like a 12 year old, hangs out with the 15 year olds. Or more like the 60 year olds that hang out with the 35 year olds. Or 40, whatever I was at the time. 50, I don't know. <laughs> Jay needs a mama son. Alex Joe has the coconut oil now. I told Alec, I had my wife try that on, on it me one time, and it was fine. It, you know, pretty much the same as. The um, the baby oil, once it got, you know, wet and lubed, I guess the good thing about it, if she did decide to do any mouth work on me, uh, you can't really lick baby oil, but you can lick coconut oil. But that, in my case, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't pertain. I'm having technical difficulties. Are you running short on batteries? <laughs> Way fast, Whitey. What's up, my brother? Good news. Coconut oil is best. I enjoyed it. I just, you know, to me, it was like, since I have the uh, baby oil, like, it, within lungeable area of my bed, I don't have to get up and get the coconut oil out of the fucking the, the, the closet. The stuff glides nice. Yeah, and see, now I'm in a mood to get a hand job tonight. Can you come over my house, Alec, with the coconut oil? Um, that's why Joe smells of coconut oil. Well, yeah, I, I use it on myself, and then I move up my ass, and I thumb it. <laughs> Does anybody want to finger my butthole at the Olympia? I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to be a girl. I just need, we can make believe, play doctor. <laughs> Joe, what size batteries do you take? D. <laughs> Four of them. <laughs> Four. He posted it today, but he said it happened a month ago. What, the batteries? <laughs> Coconut oil. What was the thing with the carrot in Jason's ass? Is that fake? Please tell me it is. I mean, I guess once you put a fucking cucumber up your ass, a carrot is like you're basically putting a fucking grain of rice up your ass at that point. Joe wants. I do. I even want my male doctor to do it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend. <laughs> Louis Marco's car crash. I didn't hear anything about it. Is he okay? I hope he's okay. I actually like Louis Marco. I know a lot of people in this industry talk bad about him. Um, you know, he came on my show one time, and we had a you know a fucking fun interview. I liked him. Joe, what age you get? You're supposed to start at 50. I'm 52, so I'm starting to get you know worried that my doctor just doesn't love me. I got Keith at my doctor. Keith, has he touched your ass yet? Because you're much younger than I am. Is Blackman who got a toy up his anus? Oh no, no, I don't believe that. I've never heard that before, Hamburg. I don't believe. 4Ds. Yes, 4D batteries, like an old boombox. <laughs> my, my fucking anal dildo is boombox-ish. <laughs> His rash shall be saluted. <laughs> so what happened? You okay, uh, Louis Marco? 
I salute you. <laughs> Why should you cook cat with coconut oil? Makes it easy to slide it into the trash. Uh, yeah, kale is fucking gross, bro. I'm, you might as well just fucking like be a cow and graze. So, yeah. Jason, what's up? Jason, what's up, pal? Does anybody ever think that you're Jason Genova? <laughs> no, not that Jason. <laughs> Maniac, what's up, bro? I got a new Jay Masters video. I have to uh, do some post-production and walking and stuff. I didn't get a chance to do that yet. How many guys did you see as a cop walking down the street with a boombox on their shoulder? Louis is okay. Okay, good. Um, I started out in the 80s, so I saw, you know, that was still like the tail end of the boombox era, you know. What the heck were those idiots doing? Oh, my. Don't even get me started on that, John. Johnny. Keith and I were discussing that same, there was two situations, one in Brooklyn and one in the uh, upper Manhattan. Um, Keithus and I were talking about that. We would have made mince meat out of those fucking savages, regardless if we would have gotten in trouble or not. You cannot allow that to happen. The living legend is here, the uncle of the man of the <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maniac. <laughs> We does anybody have a parrot? We have to teach it how to say. We need to get out there. <laughs> I want to get like um, like strangers in the street to say it, like you know, like fucking like you know, hot girls, and then like you know, little kids, and just like a whole mixture. Like we'll do a whole fucking just mashup of it. Typical PMs, hmm. polite monkeys. <laughs> Those guys should have gotten their asses beat. I, Alec, it, it's amazing how there was nothing done. And I can't even kill cops because they, they're fucking trained nowadays to take shit from assholes. You know, I mean, I don't know. I, I shouldn't Monday morning quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. But I would not have. That would. I, I've worked with some people that we have just completely destroyed houses full of people in the house at the same time. <laughs> that would never have happened in our fucking era. I don't know about today. If I put myself out there today, I don't know. Who knows, you know? Joe, is it normal for, is it to big rob childish pranks? It's fucking retarded, bro, and it proves the fucking insanity the man fucking possesses. Not even insanity, assholeness. Uh, do you enjoy dripping into the Nutella? My wife says I have PM after sex. Pussy mouth. Ooh. Now, does your wife let you kiss her after cunnilingus? Mine does not, and it annoys the fuck out of me. Garage gym power. What's up, pal? I forgot Rob exists. Agent. <laughs> Coconut claws. How often did you dip into the jar of Nutella? Yeah, he had that Nutella fucking uh, jar in the bank there. In the bank. In the bar. <laughs> what am I a Jew or something? All I think about is money. No, he was. Uh, he showed us that uh, that that young lass that he was with, uh, the colored girl. <laughs> you ever see those old signs in the Jim Crow era? No colored Mexican or dogs allowed. How fun that was. I mean, it's funny, but it really was kind of. Fun. At least put the dogs on a separate sign. You know. Imagine a guy printing that. He must have been laughing. Hey, man, they ordered a whole bunch. Uh, Sri Lankan. Isn't Sri Lankan like fucking rubbish? <laughs> Not after sex. During sex, she tastes this. Oh, my God. See, that? you have no idea how much of a turn on that is to me. In my younger days, when girls would lick their own pussy juice off of my face, that was before I had this shit. Well, I had it for a little while when I was an undercover one time. Potato Head is here. Mister, <laughs> I love when a fucking, I used to have an ex-girlfriend that I would go, smell yourself, smell you. And she would smell my face with the pussy all, the, you know, all, the, all over it. And then lick it, lick it. And I tell me, you, tell me you wish it was another girl. I wish it was another girl's pussy. I want to eat pussy for you so bad. It never happened. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> Lord Vader has me blocked, feel cold. You, as you should. That is like in an Antarctica. It's no, it's nothing. You, your life is over. <laughs> it's next to India. That female dog was fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> I know what you mean. B I T. What about the Georgia congresswoman that said the guy said, <laughs> "Go back to your country," and he goes, "I'm a fucking Cuban and I'm a liberal Democrat." 
who thought he was a white Trump supporter. <laughs> and she lied. <laughs> what a fat fuck. She goes, I'm nine months pregnant. I just thought she had a gut. <laughs> she had like a Phil Heath gut. Uh, if it's next to India, I guess it's, I don't know, those people were white before fucking inbreeding, you know, or mixed breeding, excuse me. The best when a girl isn't afraid of her own mess. You know what? I'm, it turns me on so much that if a girl goes, I'll do it if you do it, I'd be like, okay, what the hell? Joe, would you bang Coach Debbie? Jay, I, not only would I bang her, Roy Rod, I would eat a fucking shit sandwich of hers on semolina bread. I guess that means... <laughs> That woman was bigger than Big Lenny. Oh, the fucking, the, the, the Georgia lawmaker, cunt, fucking blonde black bitch. <laughs> Triple B's, <laughs> B to the third power. <laughs> and I, you know what? She was so fucking ugly and annoying. I don't even think I would fucking bang her. <laughs> Mustard, oh, Mustang Sally, can you make the pirate called D-Ball Debbie? Um, I don't want to piss anybody off, though. Because then it's about somebody, per se. I did it about Rob, the first song. Because, you know, fuck him, I don't care. What's crack a lacking? <laughs> so I don't want to do it about this Debbie girl. Because then, you know, let's say she's like, this guy's fucking ass, so he doesn't even know me. He's making songs about me. But I do like the idea, though. I'm a stank salad. Go live with the bug bouncer. Is he fucking blown out of his shoes again? <laughs> The bug bouncer. bug bouncer is a, he's definitely an interesting fucking person with the hood on and shit. What is that, your basement? It almost looks like Buffalo Bill's fucking basement. Put your fucking lotion in the basket. Do you say that to the bugs? Precious! <laughs> Get me the fuck out of here. Don't worry. Uh, I'm agent FBI. You're safe. Yeah, right, you dumb cunt. <laughs> He's got fucking, you know, he can see it in the dark and you can't. And you're telling her she's safe. Joe, I enjoyed the increased amount of motherfuckers that came out of your mouth as soon as CT joined in. <laughs> CT loves saying motherfucker. I guess uh, Rob DiMaggio from IML don't like when I curse because he... he Wrote that on my, my video. <laughs> it puts the coconut oil on its answer or it gets the cock again. <laughs> Excellent, no mess. <laughs> Great fucking job. I'll tell them to get that little girly man. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Would you help me get this couch in a van? Would you? She was kind of cute, that bitch. She was smoking and driving and singing with her 80s hairdo. <sighs> that big fat girl? Well, yes, yeah, she was kind of large. <laughs> Twinkle toes. <laughs> Do you have a curse bugs out while you're fucking with them? It puts the lotion on the bug. <laughs> oh, fucking bugs. Do you ever get people that go call you for crabs? Where is Titan Medical Center? They're in Florida. I'm not sure exactly where. I know, but I don't know offhand, but they are in the state of Florida. They may come hang out with us at the Olympia. They may come down for a day or two. I told them to. John and Sharice Chorus. She is drop-dead gorgeous, and uh, her husband is kind of cute, too. <laughs> Who's going to Vegas? Joe Schwartz. What's up, Joe Schwartz? Joe Schwartz, are you going to Las Vegas for the Olympia? Well, Kim's going. Crystal's going. Rich is going. Little Joey's going. At Vong, CW. Um, um, uh, well, Jenny's from the the uh, the, the Bear uh, Diner there. She lives there, so she's going to meet us there. Um, uh, who else is going? What other girls said they're going to make out? Well, Cindy Kasperson said she wants to make out with you girls, so I'm going to fucking <laughs> guess I'll just try to hide her in my luggage. <laughs> Joe's Vegas bound. Joe, are you gonna are you gonna watch our girls only spin the bottle? Is Shuey going? That I do not know. I, I hope Big Rob is going. I know Mikey and Thea cannot, unfortunately. Because they're uh, you know, stuck there in Hawaii doing that army thing now. Poke in the house. What's up, Poke? Uh, it's working again. A white man loves a white girl and only dates black men, so he tries to act black to get with her. No, but that's a real nice ski mask. <laughs> Oh, Kato, what's up? Is Ray going? 
Uh, Ray and I were actually on the, uh, the cellular telephone the other day, and I believe he is. He can confirm that if he's still on here or not. We were, that's what we were talking about, Crystal. Raymond and myself. So I believe he is going. Um, I hope so. Ray is competing. Oh, that's right. Yes. The, with that, the old Hogan thing. Old Hogan thing. Yes. So, yes. So, I, silly me. Yes. So, Ray is going. So, I'm going to assume Autumn is going. So, we should have a nice crowd at the fucking bar. Would Pack, would you lose, lose reaction to that? Act like you didn't care, but you can tell he was pissed. How are you, Mr. RP? How the fuck are you? Poor monster. Poor monster. He's a monster. Monster nutrition. Monster clothes. There's a lot of monsters in our fucking uh, industry. Monster. Look at Kim. Hi, Polk. Speaking of poking, can I poke you, Kim? <laughs> Looking forward to bar time. Dude, you have no idea what I have planned. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be like Caligula. <laughs> Monster schlong. He stepped into the pits. <laughs> I wish Hugo the Claws could come to the thing. I wish you could come to it. Come on, fuck Canada, man. Go to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, but we, we do have a decent amount of... Uh, we will not be talking football, no. While two girls are sucking face drunk, I will not be talking about the fucking <laughs> the, the, the Europe, European Football League and World League. With you. Can't wait for the alligator bar. I need a vacation. Are you going? Are you looking forward to uh, tasting uh, lipstick, the cherry chapstick? <laughs> Sin City, I hear. Yes, there's a lot of sins going to be committed this fucking year. And I could give a rat's fucking cunt about the fucking contest. Weed is too tax with Vegas. No way, Ariana would go. <laughs> oh, you fucking weed guys. Stop with that fucking shit. What are you, in high school? Come on. NCAA. Fuck the NFL. Damn right. College football rules, bro. And then we got the XFL in February. I hope they do longer than the Alliance. <laughs> Fucking alliance. What did they make? Fucking week seven or eight, and then they uh, out of ten, and then they they won. Bye bye. <laughs> Trent Ritten, now, man, he's gonna he'll he'll be back in the NFL. I'm surprised somebody picked him up between you know the end of the alliance year. He was at the Vegas, the Vegas, the XFL uh, showcases. What happens if Vegas stays and clears up? It? <laughs> Oh, Zion, that looks like a, uh, I, it's hard for me to see those little circles, but are you a lady? Zion's health? You look like a lady in that picture. It's hard for me to tell. Craig Goliath lives in Vegas. He's a big motherfucker, that guy, man. <laughs> That's why they call him Goliath. That is forever, yes. Um, but I'm looking forward to the Olympia. I cannot wait. I'm going to be covering the men's physique division. Um, we uh, are going to be talking about the top 10, the pose down. Do they even have <laughs> Show you how much I know. Do I need to bring antibiotics? Penicil yes. S s make a whole big bag for you last night at work. <laughs> Gotta go, Joe. It was good. To no. Yo, the new Kim Fit Ass intro. I know you guys maybe have seen it on my uh, on my YouTube's, not the YouTube's, the uh, this thing, yeah, Insta shits, whatever the fuck it is. And Kim put it too, so we have some fun in that one. But thank you, Kim. I uh, I cannot wait to see you again. I'm going to tape a brick or hash to my nutsack to bring to the LA Mansion. Who are you, fucking uh, you know William Highs from fucking the <laughs> the Midnight Express? Bring vinegar to spray the vag first. No, just eat it. Who cares? Can a player get a shout out? Dark Iron Gains, a shout out for you. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Are you going to be at the Olympia? Because we're going to be having our fucking girl, um, uh, MSM Iron Maidens, make out with each other. Um, we're going to be doing that while, while people are going, hmm, competitor number 203 looks good. Uh, quarter turn to the right. They're going to be doing quarter tongue to their fucking... Girlfriend, <laughs> connection is fucking up. No! Thanks for the intro. <laughs>
<laughs> what is going on, Hogan the Claws? It looks like the uh, Mueller second round just ended, and I think that'll be it. So we're looking, I have it on the, 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 the computer thing here. Is Bug Bouncer close to Vegas? I don't know. Where are you, Bug? I like fish and ship vinegar. <laughs> I like shit pussy. No, oh, that's when I eat the ass. I make a mistake. They call me Toronto Tony. First cuisine of Boston, George. <laughs> Nikki D, you got to hook up with your fucking brother from another mother, Artie. Speaking of Artie, where the fuck is that motherfucker been, man? I hope he didn't get fucking collared again. <laughs> you had to rejoin. Okay, as long as you can see it. Caught a tongue to the left, not. <laughs> Nikki, can you come to the Olympia so you could look at the girls' kid? <laughs> I'm close to Vegas, New Mexico, true story. So come on down, motherfucker. I drove to Vegas many times from California and back then, you know, either way. Nick D, the man, the legend. Nikki, I saw your boy uh, in person last night. Your former second baseman, now the second baseman in the Metropolitans, hit three. Three jacks. He did what Reggie did in the World Series. Look at that. He hit the fucking ball so hard in the legal steroids over. But yes, the uh, Mets last night was an interesting game for Keith and myself. It was fun to see a good starting uh, um, uh, by Vargas and uh, some home runs. I can't find Artie. On... I know. I, I put in Ar trying to tag him, and he wasn't on there. So unless he changed his name, uh, you should do a fear and loathing spoof driving through the desert. I'll be there if I can general wrestle. Well, that's Alec, I can't speak for them. I put the game out there, and they said they would make out with the game. Canal must be using the legal steroids this year. I hope so. My name is Robinson Cano, and you use this muscle sport, muscle video dirty. Why do I have him sound in Russian? <laughs> I'm at gun wheels. <laughs> oh, before I forget, no show tomorrow. I got to go to Brooklyn. Another fucking mess today. It's, it's real. It, it's, the situation is compounding from both ends for both parents. Just it's it's been it's a, a really fucking bad. Um, so I got to take care of business tomorrow. But on Friday I'll be back for AMA. Can almost be using the oh yeah I read that. Oh Artie got locked up. No I hope not. I love Artie. He's a good guy. He's one of the good ones like George Jefferson. But uh, maybe he uh, maybe he had to go incognito. Maybe like some girl. No sleep till Brooklyn. Yes, that was like our theme when that came out. <laughs> no sleep till Brooklyn. I was like twenty when that came out. We love driving through the desert, great sex in the car. I've never driven through the desert with someone of the opposite sex, but that doesn't mean that I didn't have great sex in the car either. So, ha uh -huh. Well wishes. Thank you, Jose. It's just, you know, listen, it, it comes with the territory. When you're an old fuck like me, that means your parents are fucking old. You know? Bug Bouncer, how's the ass in New Mexico? I've never been in New Mexico. I, I, I don't know if I want to go because it sounds like Mexico. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Thank you, man. It is, but it, like I said, it, you know, it, is it like, oh, my God, my, my, my parents are in their 30s and they're still 84 and 90. I mean, come on. It is what it is. So did you ever see the cop episode when the Indian man got pulled over for meth and buying a working girl? He's blown out his mind on meth. No, I didn't see that. It's what, uh, cops, bad boys, bad boys? Yes, guys that are all fucking high and shit, they, you can crack their skulls open and they still come up and fight you. Sorry about your parents. Thank you, my friend. Oh, your grandma. I know, I know you're very close with her, Nick, so I hope that she does better and, and, and gets a blood infection. Yeah, they, they can knock that out. Uh, that's something that I'm sure, you know, she's been on antibiotics and whatnot, but hopefully she bounces back. Um, yeah, that, that's just, the, it's, it sucks when they get old, man. Jared's Janae. What's up, King Jared? How the fuck are you? It's a clip on YouTube, King Jared. Um, I did never seen that. I can't make Oh, that's my assistant coach. I can't make it tonight. We have a game tonight. We're one and two. We won one game. We lost two. That's <laughs> New Mexico used to be part of Mexico. I yes, and so does Texas too. Texas was part of Mexico. I had to leave because Brandon was here. Oh, you, you, are you blocked by the um, the bowl of soup? And see, he'll he'll stop following me now because I'll get a message like in three days saying you're being followed by Echo's full giant. He's probably mad at me. 
parents get that reverse aging thing, I hope. Nick, thank you, Ariana. I, I definitely, uh, you're always giving me nice DMs and shit, too. I appreciate it all. Soup even. Now, who in their right mind? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Jared's Jornet, you're going to block him? The fucking sweetest guy in the world. I can see me. I mean, I'm a dick. You know, but Jared, fucking guy, he gives fucking cookies to cops and army men and shit. He's the sweetest guy in the world. <laughs> and he got blocked. And they're like the same age. They're all, they're both in their uh, early 20s, those guys. They should have a lot in common. Wolfpack, can you get a shout? You can get a shout out. Uh yes. So uh, I'm sure Echo's Full Giant will be blocking me, not blocking me, but unfollowing me because I, I cut him off. He did not stick to the terms of our agreement. Oh, Mexico used to be Mexico, but the crop government is fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, and that fucking New Mexican president's like, oh, they're, they're you know, it's terrible the way they're holding them there. Well, then fucking stop letting them come true, you fuck. You look like you're 21. Now I know you're fucking smoking weed for lunch, bro. <laughs> I see bug people. <laughs> you think that kid still sees dead people? <laughs> He's older now. Unfortunately, it's like a cartel country now. Yeah, I wouldn't go to Mexico on a freebie, bro. Oh, even though the fucking test is right in the fucking over-the-counter and you can just shoot it up wherever you want. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Soup doesn't condone the exploitation. <laughs> uh, uh, super size BB. Now, what would the scale have to tip in order to fall into the category of an SSBBW? I know what height, height depends, but are we talking two and a half bills, 250? C-dubs! Speaking of people going to the Olympia, C-Dub and his lovely wife, Catlock. Look at those pictures you guys posted, man. You got like that big farm kind of shit, man, with tractors and, and all of that. Wow. I mean, that's like fucking completely different from what I'm used to. I I, I would love it. I think I, I, I need to slow down. This fucking city life is, I'm too old for it now. I hate it. How many uh, POCs do you have over there? <laughs> Maybe I'll become your neighbor. <laughs> Thoughts on the presidential candidate? Bill de Blasio getting the campaign endorsement from David Wright. Did he? What is David Wright fucking? What did he? he, he, he did, did that little daughter of his throw a ball and hit him in the head? <laughs> did he do that? Mexican steroids, Mexican bodybuilder at the Olympia. That's a... Good fucking statement, Jose. I mean, I've only tried the, the, the juice when I was in Mexico, and, you know, it was four shots. I mean, I can't say if it's good or bad. A lot of work keeps since that. Oh, sorry to hear that, bro. I'm sure it is, you know. You are truly young and handsome. Jared, do you want to sleep with me? I'll buy the scumbags. <laughs> uh, are you like uh, uh, Green Acres? Like, you know? And Kat Fong wants to go to the city like like the Zsa Zsa Gabor there. <laughs> Spoon with Matt, you see Matt Hobb. Yes, he got DFA'd by the uh, California Angels of Los Angeles of Anaheim's. I am, what if, me and Keith were talking about him last night, looking at his numbers, and I was like, this guy was like, you know, fucking, you know, he, he had some really good fucking seasons. And then all of a sudden now, this guy's getting cut, you know, uh, you know twice now. I don't know, man. You know, did he? Did he came back from the um, the uh, Tommy John surgery and had a great year in fifteen after missing fourteen? So you can't blame that, I don't think. Uh, shoe nice, Chris Shoe. No, I have no idea who that is. I don't know who who's Chris Shoe. Cat bong be with me, my baby. That's good. <laughs> the Mets should get him off wave is a great fix for me. And I, you know, what it is that the. the the fans would fucking be booing him because he was a dick on the Mets. You know, he didn't show up, and I'm too sick to come to the stadium when he was on the DL, and he got – remember, then they, uh, like, suspended him for one game without pay, and, yeah, he was an asshole. Thoracic outlet surgery, and then Tommy John, the shoulder. Yeah, that, and I also think – I don't know. I mean, I think his head – I think he just doesn't have, like, that – I always thought he would do good with the Yankees. I, I, even though it, that almost sounds like, you know, the opposite. If he can't handle a Met 
you know, pressure? How would you handle the Yankees? I think if he goes to the Yankees, there wouldn't be as much pressure on him because he would be like, you know, okay, it's almost like a, you know, like a fucking, a waiver pick up and just, you know, let's see what we got. Give him a couple of stars. If he gets bombed, we're going to cut him. There's no pressure for him to be the guy over there. Clubhouse last year at the Mets, they didn't want him coming back on schedule. They wanted to come back before it was time when he was coming. Yeah, I remember they put him in the bullpen, too, and shit. He, he was being a bit of a dick. He was getting fat. He was out partying last year when he drove away from Anaheim to San Diego after the game, the celebrity party. Nobody knew who he was. Oh, shit. Yeah, he doesn't exactly have fucking Brad Pitt looks. You know, he's kind of like, kind of chunky looking. He's kind of average looking. You know, you don't look at him and go, wow, that's a professional fucking athlete. You know, LeBron James, you look at him, you know, and you see him right away. Uh, you know, a Syndergaard, you look at him, you know, this guy look, he looks like a fucking athlete. Uh, that model broke his heart. Yeah, yeah. She Was that the same girl that Edelman? Imagine that. That, that little fucking jubilee. <laughs> I guess if you, if your girl bust, you know, you leaves you and goes out with a fucking midget fucking like that. <laughs> Edelman was good, though, man. That cocksucker could take a fucking pop over the middle. He was like Trebek, man. He was a, a good slot, a slot wide receiver. He's a slot wide receiver. <laughs> who gonna, what did who gonna say? Hold on a second. I gotta go back. Oh, who's the girl you ever feared the most that you might have impregnated? I don't want to say because if I did, I'm giving myself up and it's gonna cost me a bundle. Uh, oh, Nick had a question, too. What can I eat to get my cock hard naturally? Come. <laughs> um, I would say, uh, uh, I, I even though they don't advertise with me anymore, the pro I believe in the product. Um, ejaculoid. Uh, let me tell you something. Goliath Labs Ejaculoid is basically your hembide. Um, God damn, does it fucking make you come like a champ? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Every time I, I get a, a baby oil beat off or a coconut oil beat off planned, I have my fucking vitamin. <laughs> Lots of healthy fats. Same advice as the North Star must work. Um, the thing to get your cock hard, basically, um, age will have something to do with that. A lot of it has to do with testosterone levels and shit like that. So I don't know, depending on your age, um, I have taken that, Joe. Dude, let me tell you something, man. Don't chicks make your dick hard? Good point, Alec. Good point. Yes. Lesbian, amateur lesbian porn. <laughs> That's natural, right? <laughs> it's amateur. <laughs> Snoops, what's up, bro? How the fuck are you? Welcome to the show, motherfucker. Welcome to that legal stories that comprehends gearing up Wednesdays, 3 p.m. right here on Instagram at Muscle Sport Mag. Use your code Muscle Video 30 to save 30% on your entire fucking order. Oh. Greetings, Mr. Stufa. How the fuck are you? <laughs> when was the lab bug born? Eat pussy equals hot. Yeah, isn't it great when you're eating a girl's cunt and you you hump you dry humping? My wife's good, though. I'll, I'll lean to the side, and she plays with my dick with her foot because she knows I'm a filthy foot fetish fuck nuts guy. So she, she, she jerks my dick with, with one foot. Not jerk it, just, you know, you know, plays with it. What is the most impressive record you think the Maggio streak? Um, yeah, man, 56-game uh, hitting streak. Well, you see guys like Ken Landro did 44. Uh, when, you know, Pete Rose was somewhere around that number, too. Um, I'm going to say Cy Young's 511 wins never be topped again because 300 is considered the fucking unwritten automatic Hall of Fame. Now, and if you look at Cy Young's, most, if not, if not 90%, if not, you know, like 80 to 90% were probably complete games of those 511 wins. And he had a lot of losses. Imagine his innings pitched. They're probably that even more. Um, let me tell you mine. It was the truly disgusting female dog, her public line. She was 48. Nothing wrong with that, but personality and her face fucked up. Uh, I used scumbag, but I was paranoid. Why? Did it break? 
That's a bullshit record. What? Saw Young's 511 wins? Why would you say that, Nick? Don't tell me because he didn't face black guys. I don't want to hear that shit. That's just the way it was. It is what it is. You cannot change history. Um, but 511 wins is insane, bro. Insane. Um, I don't think there will be anybody that pitches long enough to win that many games. You know, so uh, it's not even a matter of um, if somebody has a chance. I don't think they have, a, they won't even have a, even if they won every game they started, they won't have 511 wins. Huga, maybe she sprinkled some crack into your dinner plate, paranoid. Dude, if you were wearing a rubber and it didn't snap off, like, you know, completely break, you're fine. Don't worry about it. And don't want the people putting fucking pinholes in them, you know, in the aisle. Like that, don't even, that's urban legend shit. Didn't break, but, you know, maybe broke a tiny bit without me noticing. You would have known, let me tell you, I've had scumbags break on me over the course. And let me tell you something. You know the second it breaks, there is no turning back. Because it goes from fucking barely feeling it to poof! And all of a sudden, it's just like a fucking gush of cum. You know, a <laughs> girl cum all over your cock. <laughs> Bug Brown's a sex stories. <laughs> I was killing this fucking lady's fucking cockroaches one time, and she started playing with my ass crack, my plumber's crack. <laughs> That must be good, though. You go into houses and you get to see MILFs. The biggest waste of talent, that should be Dwight Gooden, Josh Hamilton, Jose Fernandez. I don't want to say Gooden or Strawberry because they did produce. Josh Hamilton, he lost so many years. Jose Fernandez, he had a decent career, though. Um, was that the pitcher that died? The, bo the boat guy you're talking about? Um, he was kind of young, obviously a different category, uh, death versus just drug usage. I will say Hamilton because he could, he could, if he was not a fucking crackhead, he probably would have been a, a really good chance Hall of Fame candidate. That's, I'm going to go with that. You were the one to tell me the double scumbag. Yes. Do not use double rubbers. The friction will make them both fucking break. Don't use that. Probably Jose Fernandez and like a uh, suspect homosexual. What do you mean suspect? <laughs> We're fucking out of the closet. Josh Hamilton wasn't in bad for us. But, um, yeah, the guy, and I don't feel bad for him. I feel bad for the fucking people that were with him. You know, he was fucking drunk and high on coke when he smashed that boat. Fuck him. He's an asshole. Don't, no black armbands on that fucker. Don't retire in his number and give fucking, uh, you know, credence to drug usage. Source money, what's up, bro? She had some kind of thing implanted under her skin, so I'm good. Birth control. Well, like a pacemaker? I mean, <laughs> a doggy chip? What did she have implanted under her skin? They have birth control that you can implant under your skin. You take a lot of loads if you're going to go through that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did I miss Brendo? Yes, you did. Don't worry, you can see him on the replay. Alex Rodriguez. Hold on a second. I never said how. Jo yes, I Nick. I, I, I Greg said the same thing, and I've said it and agreed with Greg. Um, completely. No. How do we fucking vilify one and then we fucking put the other guy on a pedestal? He's an asshole, Josh Hamilton. Fuck him. I'm glad he isn't playing anymore. Do you remember your Ventura from the Royals? Yes, I do. Because I used to think he was related to Robin Ventura until I seen him. And I said, he can't be. Super young and used to throw up 100 consistently. He died three or four years ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And this other guy from the Angels that just died. The implant was a tracking device because she's a fellow. No, that's just an um, a ankle bracelet. I, I, I've dealt with that with girls. It's something in Danish. No idea English word. Oh, okay. It's the Giants this year. Big blue. Fuck the NFL! Even though I, 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 I like Eli. I'm a fan of Eli Manning, but fuck the NFL. We will not watch the NFL in my house once again. This will be three years in a row. Fuck them! I read about it as birth control thing on the official medical side. I can't be teased. You read it on the web. So it must be true. <laughs> French model? <laughs> oh, fuck. 
yes, we will not watch the NFL. Fuck them. Fuck them in a year. Fuck them in the other year. Um, hookah the Claws. Uh, so why do you think that you may have uh, given this uh, baby hookah claws to this fucking old bitch? You know, if the thing didn't, you would have known if it broke, bro. Trust me. I, I, I say that from personal experience. If it broke, both of you would have noticed. Need some granny maidens, Joe. Hot ones. Well, um, what do you consider a granny? See, everybody's different. Depending on your age. To me, a granny would be like 65 and older. Like a gilf, when you're looking under, like, you know, for porno to masturbate. If I put gilf, I'm expecting gray hair. <laughs> Over the clothes, you can become a YouTube salary if you make videos about these encounters. Yes, you can. My name is Hugo the Claws, and I'm going to tell you what happened to me one of these nights. She was 48. I was 16. <laughs> I don't think so. It's called extreme paranoia. I'm able to identify my own paranoia. I'm a grandma. Yeah, but see, you're not really a grandma. You know what I mean? Like, you and Kim say, we got grandkids. But that's not like a grandma. You know what I mean? Like, you're a, to me, you're a MILF. You know? But if I think of a GILF, it's usually coming with a lot older than what you guys are. <laughs> You're just a grandmother, like, in theory. <laughs> Melons of views. <laughs> uh, is it true that PJ is done with a, uh, Jason? I saw a clip that PJ was saying he's done with Jason. Don't give up on him. Crystal Wife, I Anthony Gilchrist. Gilchrist. Crystal is not a granny. I like kinky grannies. Aren't they all? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, I fucked this broad in hedonism one time. I'm telling you, she, she was in her fucking mid to late 60s, and I was like early 20s. And that was a gilf. That was different. My mature loving brother, Uga. What defines a gilf? Ah, uh, Kim to the T, to the Gil, to the Roy. Am I Janoy's father? No. <laughs> Kian Auerbach and Nucky Thompson. Yo, what's up? Oh, Kian, we didn't mention you before. We talked about Vegas. Who's going to Vegas? We were all raising our hands. Well, I was raising my hand. Joshua Nothing's in love with Kim to the T, to the Gil, to the Roy. Ooga booga, cougar the claws. You can get a $10,000 a day, melon dollar baby money at Melon Air. <laughs> Fucking finally got on, been so damn busy here at work. He's probably hot as a fuck down there, too, where you are. Kim, to that, <laughs> just a granny you like the fuck. I like them over 55 and salt and pepper hair. Yeah, who could have cause You got a fucking fetish for the old broads, man. That's good. So excited to see everyone. I'm excited to see you, kid. Saggy melons. There's nothing wrong with saggy melons, bro. Trust me, nothing. Hopefully, I'll be going to Vegas next year, and that would be cool. Well, if the um, if the uh, the uh, spin the bottle, if we get in trouble, they won't allow us back next year. We're gonna have to just do it from the street. <laughs> uh, kind of okay, been super okay, hotter than motherfucker. Yeah, we cooled off a little bit here too. It was still up until two days ago. Hot as balls here in Florida. What kind of balls? Like low slung balls. <laughs> the one granny gave me a spank when I was trying to bounce the ball. Hot as fucking big. It's 110. Yeah, but it's dry heat, they say, right? Yeah, dry my fucking, my balls. <laughs> if it's 114 degrees, there's no such thing as dry heat. It is just a fucking, it's, it's Hades. H-A-D-E-A-E-S. -E -E Hades. Hades. It's like hell. It's like hotter than hell. It's like Africa hot. Like they said in that movie with Matthew Broderick when he was in the, in the, the World War II there. It's never this hot in Brooklyn. In Massachusetts, the police say it's hot as soccer balls. Really? They say that? Ah, hair bro, Cincinnati, Ohio, and it was hot. It was like the moist, humid, wet shit feeling like you're dying in the sauna. Yeah, man. Like when you go sometimes to different places and it's like that humid, hot. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Like, Florida is like that a lot. Spin the bug. Can you imagine spinning a centipede? Uh, oof. Uh, Lake Kresva and Valerio. Welcome to the program, fellas. How the fuck are you? We got about five minutes left. 
Uh, like I said, I will not be on the air tomorrow. I'll be on the air Friday at 3 p.m. for Ask Me Anything Titan Medical Center. What? Kresva. I know what he meant. Isn't it funny how sometimes the autocorrect does something that it's like, it's basically a foreign language. Like, how did it not know the? <laughs> I'm honest, like ocean heat or the mountains of Tennessee and the Appalachians. That's where the fuck is that? Um, I don't, I see, I like when I'm on vacation in the Caribbean, like that heat don't bother me because you're always in the pool or in the water or trying to hump your wife. I mean, it's all good, you know. <laughs> uh, weather next week, we're going to be some live footage. I'll be in South Carolina, Hilton Head. Very nice. Oh, beautiful. I love Hilton Head. Oh, I love Head. <laughs> I love getting Head in the Hilton. No, Head is fucking gorgeous, man. Joe, is there time to send an inappropriate joke to your email? We got about four minutes, so I would say yes. I'll do it now. Check soon. Okay, I'm going to check right now. <sighs> I hate 42 degree days. 42 degree days. Why is Titan Medical Center so expensive? Because it's real. It's legit testosterone. So you have to remember, it's not like bullshit, um, you know, bathtub, kitchen sink, fucking, uh, you know, homebrew shit. It's legit. So you either pay for quality or you get cheaper shit that you worry if it's fucking bunk or not, you know? Why do you think of Jay Masters? What did it say about Jay? mashed potato meal pretty i didn't see it i have he sent me some new videos i have to watch it and i haven't seen it all right who gonna call us sent me this thing uh yes i know you're about to go live me reading i think style has you doing a lot of fucking walking on the beach being romantic i am a romantic man can i please lick your ass what do you i'm gonna read it to myself what do you call an evil old crude crude Kuala, the who's I don't know who the, that Deville is though. I don't get the joke only because I don't get the reference. Is it something Cruella? Is that like a, a a singer or something? I don't know who that is. Deville. I know CC Deville from Poison. John Starner, welcome, my friend. Orchard me interested in men and shorter than Dale. Boy, <laughs> damn that auto. Damn those glasses. Sorry, family, I am late today. Work sucks. Monkey balls. Yes, does. I think Ariana will get it. Should I read it out aloud? Oh, you don't want me? I don't want to get you in trouble, man. I'm going to put pics of Keanu and Kim T on some pillows and get to dry right on. <laughs> oh, put a little plastic over it so you can let me have them when you're done. I don't want you to come. I just want them. <laughs> Save me the <to> work. <laughs> Uh, what do you call an evil old black woman? Cruella Nutella. And he wrote, like Cruella DeVille. I don't know who Cruella DeVille is, though. I'm sorry, bro. Love footage each day in South Carolina, Hilton. Yeah, it's, dude, you're going to love it. You and your old lady are going to love it. She's the villain from 101 Dalmatians. Oh, okay. I saw, like, the Disney one with my kids when they were real little, but I, I don't think I paid attention that much. Uh, what did this say here? Joe, you're troublemaker. You're tr you troublemaker, make some trouble. I always make trouble. Is mature 30, 35, or 40 plus? Depends on your age. You know, it all depends. If you're 16, I would say 30. If you're in your 20s, 